this is Sandra at Spirit of Avalon. So today I'm attempting to do um, the hashtag Tarot Tubers at Home, which was started by Cheyenne Shining. So I'm doing a VR to her. Um, so just showing our decks and bits and pieces at home like our sacred spaces and things i guess so i'll probably have to do this in bits and join them together but yeah so we'll start with tarot shelf <laughs> so here's some of them there's my only playing card deck at the back there which is harry potter and the only reason i've got that is because obviously harry potter but um the playing cards are actually got actual people from Harry Potter on the actual cards it's not just the playing card symbols in this end the ones that are stacked up there like the Londa Tarot etc those ones are all my um, vintage decks so the very top one in the bag is the Blushing Fall Londa Tarot the new Palladini Tarot um, and that's the original vintage one Aquarian Tarot, um, Legend, Arthurian Tarot. Then I've got like a goddess figure in the back there. Um, she's at the back because she's been broken a couple of times and glued together. You can probably see the cat's decided to knock her off. I've got like a little wooden chalice at the back. And these guys here, they're like from about the 1950s. They're on quite poor shape I guess you know they're they're a bit chipped and stuff but I just liked them and just thought yeah um so they kind of sit there obviously that's the kitchen which we don't need to see <laughs> um down here more decks um got a soda light and a uh, soda light and um uh, red jasper got a little um malachite turtle but he's got a little broken foot look that was also the cats <laughs> i'm telling you if you have animals it's it's really hard to have anything that you know is not going to get broken you have to kind of blue tack things down got some more decks here we've got like the lost forest tarot the original one um that's harry potter it's wizard's tarot it's like unofficial harry potter you can see all of these here like the crowley tarot of the abyss crow etc down here more decks these are mostly the ones that i've got in bags and there's some boxes behind some kelly bear bags there And down here we've got the um, green glyph set which as you can see is still in its packaging <laughs> um, that's an um, not Amazonite stone I always forget but got the spolia there I love that deck I know lots of people want it but I'd never give it up and I got it in a trade with Simon at the Hermit's Cave. I have got as well at the back here the Pokey Box Tarot, which is like an unofficial Pokemon Tarot. I was thinking of selling it, but I'm not sure at the moment. And then down here, these are all Oracle decks down here. And I've probably still got too many, really trouble is I keep adding to them as well which doesn't help I suppose but I do let some go when I sort through them and think well I'm not going to use that or I'm not using it or when did I last use that oh, it was over a year ago so then I'll um very often let them go but I won't let anything go that's been gifted to me though unless the person says to me look if you find at any time you're you're just not using that deck or whatever you've got my 
permission to rehome it then I might but otherwise now behind this door now ready yourselves guys because this is a bloody mess behind this door um so this this is all books and things and because I've got too many that's why they're all stacked like that up there um so I need to sort this out I have sorted it once but then you see the thing is I keep adding but most of these up here most of them as you can see are the guidebooks that go with decks a lot of them are anyway not all but a lot of them are and then I've got some poppy paling deck poppy paling book sorry wild spirituality spirit booking and the greening by her some other tarot books um witchy books um celtic type books um nature spirits see we've got the horned god and spirit animal guides the book of stones this was a, a ball and it um broke but there's lapidolite and pink tourmaline in it that's a little ganesh um, that I've had ages, some um, citrine, this little Buddha thing again I've had it ages, I don't, I, I don't even know now where it came from or anything but anyway I just leave it there, anyway I quite like the oriental type Buddhas, this is um, an Orthoceros bowl so like um prehistoric sea um mammals type of thing or i don't know if they were mammals but they were like sea creatures it's just a few stones in there and down here is a gaia statue singing bowl a little tiny wooden thing and this was given to me this was sent as like a free gift it's another little Ganesh thing um, incense holder um, green man pot that used to sit on my desk at work when I worked at the library so I've got all books here as well like witchy books and stuff She's really heavy, so. And here is just colouring books. Down here is a bag that had crafty things in it. And there's some more books behind there, like some history ones. And you can see that Mountbatten one. That was because my dad's uncle served on Lord Mountbatten's ship when it got, um, torpedoed and he was killed um fairy tale books the same ones that my dad bought me when i was little um and then that has got my old single records in it from when i was a kid when i was a teenager it's the original box as well honestly i can't play them because i don't have a record player anymore but they sit there anyway so yeah so that's that bit guys so let's shut the door and i'll take you over to another area so this is another area so just here um i've got some herbs and empty glasses jars and things that cabinet has just got dvds in it um and then there's CDs below that, but nothing exciting. Some pictures of my dad when he was at work. Um, that's my mum and dad's wedding photo. That's my one of my nieces at the back there, Ava. And then that's my mum and dad in the garden, you know, when they were older. I think it was just, would have been about a year or so before my dad got the cancer, I think. 
um, then more books that is um time turner necklace from harry potter it was the one like hermione wore if any of you have watched the films i've got different books here i've got like ghost books witchy books pagan books um even things like killing for company which is about dennis nielsen the serial killer um gebekli tepe um genesis of the gods because i like like stuff like that and things by andrew collins but like buckinghamshire and berkshire ghosts which as you can see they look like library books and they were but they were ones that were being thrown out of the library so i got those for free when i worked there purple secret is really good that's about um king george the third when he got um when he his madness which was due to something called porphyria. Down here, more tarot books. The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe is a pop-up book that um, my friend Richard over at Longman Tarot sent me a while ago. Greenwick and Herbal. So we've got Glastonbury books. Quite a few Glastonbury books. And we've got um, some... The Unfortune books and also um, Doreen Virtue. Do Doreen Virtue. <laughs> Doreen Valiente. This is a polychrome Jasper, which is really heavy. Um, this is some honeysuckle um, flowers that I gathered myself and dried myself. I'm really pleased with them because they dried really nicely and you can actually see like the bright colour on them still. So that's what they are. That is a Buddha that I've had ages but the top of his hat is missing. The cats again. The demonology of King James I. Stephen King fairy tale book. Down here more books <laughs> that little house that came from lush years and years ago and had like bath bombs and that in it and i kept it because i keep like coins in it like just put or change and that in it because as you can see it's like a money box this is another statue that was a statue that i bought from glastonbury the very first time i went there i was taken there by my brother who lives in devon and i was staying with him and he took me there very first time and I got it in the shop that is now Wildwood but then it was called Lilith so you can see I've got Derek Cora books Richard III Avalon books Cats in the Belfry Father of Lies trilogy and then down here are, are all my um, Troy books That Wildwood Tarot is just an empty box and then there's the um, Camelot Tarot underneath that but it was missing the map but I'm okay with it. Yeah, so that's that. And then we come round here, you see this. Now guys, this was like the bargain of the century <laughs> because that i've only had it recently that was five pounds in a charity shop that bureau five pounds because they wanted to get rid because they were getting more things in and it's so handy because i can shut things away so um that's the tv next to it so over there i've just got in there at the moment spare um pencil cases and that for pens and there's just other bits and pieces in there. There's key rings and stuff in there and a mouse and a dress book and um, paint brushes. Here, because I haven't unboxed them yet, is a cube extension cable basically. And then that box underneath has got um, a ring light in it. There's a cube puzzle occasionally i might do that notepad 
obviously that's just the Wi-Fi thing. Now in here is a bit of a mess because as you guys know, um, you know, I lost my aunt a couple of weeks ago and, you know, I'd got packages and things and so I've not opened them. So <laughs> in here is some crafty stuff. Uh, pens, pencils, you know, just tape and things. There's Giselle's lovely bag and cloth in there because I don't want to get it ruined. It's my bloody Slimming World book there. <laughs> um, Rubik's Cube. Um, pens in there. These have all got decks in. That, that, that and that. Oh, and that. <laughs> so those are all decks that I've not even shown you guys yet. Because I just, I know it's, you're probably going to think, well, what is the point of doing that? But <clears throat> honestly, I'm not normally this bad. It's because, you know, with my aunt and everything, I just didn't want to unpackage anything. So I will be doing that. Um, the next, probably today, I will do that unpackage these i mean i have looked to make sure because these were from a trade group um that was an ebay one oh, better not put it in there don't want to ruin giselle's bag do we um so yes yeah, so i've got this bureau now so what i was thinking i could attach the um arm thing here and film on this you put a cloth over that when I've tidied it up properly and I mean you've got drawers and stuff underneath you've got two drawers there in cupboards as well sorry if you can see cat toys and that on the floor but so and then obviously this chair but I'm going to be getting a new one a new chair when I when I can and down here behind the cat post says stuff on it which is all my pro markers for edging just a few <laughs> and look we've got a treasure chest what's in it shall we have a look so it's all my crystal sphere collection a couple of which I'm going to be putting out. It's just I haven't got stands for all of them. Um, so I was thinking of even getting those donut rings as well. The ones that hold singing bowls. And putting one or two. Or maybe even just one on my altar space. Because you can see um, they're quite large. Some of them. I mean, I've, I've had these quite a while and they do come out alternately. What I do is I change them up, take some out. Um, I'll spray them with Florida water or something and re or recharge them um, before using them. But this clear one, you know, you could scry with that. And I've got a big, huge rose quartz at the back. But, but yeah, so... That is the oops treasure chest of crystals, which is really heavy. So that is that, guys. So now we are in bedroom. So you've all seen my altar space before. Now this looks a bit cluttered, I know, because what's I'm sorry about any noise from outside as well, because I've got the windows open because it's really hot today. Um, Yes, I'm waiting for a centerpiece for this, which is on its way. Um, so when I get that, I will show you um, the rejiggled altar when I get that and when I um, sort of change it up for kind of Mabon autumn time. So at the moment, we have this, which has my two Roselli Bluestone skulls in it. Um, that is part of a bird's egg that I found. There, Glastonbury stone, 
which I've got when I was with my brother. There's a lady um, selling them on uh, near the tour. Um, some hairs. My little um, god, Kalunos. These are my card pulls for today. So this is from the um, Heal Yourself reading cards, which were a gift, lovely gift from my friend Simon. So I pulled the Inner Child card today. These cards are lovely. I love them. I've been using them all the time since I've had them. And these two are my card pulls today from the um, Tarot of the Abyss um, by Arnatorian. Um, now normally I'd pull one but two kind of jumped today so we've got Awakening which would normally um, I can't even think would be Judgment um, and oops but I like that Awakening card though how she's either like turning into a phoenix kind of thing isn't she and then I've got the sun card as well so not too bad deck pulls today um, then I've got here a Sheila Nagig tour stone my um, energy clearing spray from Sons of Asgard which is the Celtic spirit one which smells just like the forest it's amazing that one is um, over the back here I've got my bell and there's Sons of Asgard Vision Quest Spray Tall Candle Holder. This is obviously the chalice that I got when I was at Nottingham, Sherwood Forest. Then I've got a working candle at the back there that I have been using. Some chalice well water. Um, another spray here that I use all the time that's missing its top but this is a meditation spray and smells quite florally it's really nice tree man um broomstick um offering bowls one each side I see canunos and this is ellen of the ways my lamp and this is the um little bag that simon um sent me when my aunt passed away and um it's got a heart like a wooden heart in it and a couple of other things and it had these charms in it which i've added to the outside of the bag so i thought i'd just tie them onto the outside of the bag and i've also um decorated the heart inside it and the star and stuff so um that sits there at the moment because that was really nice i forget what they what it was called um i, I forget now i'm sure it has got the label inside it actually i'm sure i kept the label actually let's see if i can fiddle it out with one hand yeah little bag of support that's what it was called and so i've kept the label in there as well this is my tour bowl which has a couple of stones from the tour and some coins in it that were found near the tour and a couple of my rings actually in it as well um yes there's like a one pound coin in there and that's the key to my bureau so this is a stone i only found yesterday at my mum's doing a bit of gardening and it looks like a goddess doesn't it it's almost shaped you know like a goddess um so i thought that was cool but even cooler was when i found this i've never ever found a hagstone before and i was just clearing a load of leaves and stuff and that this was just sitting there under the leaves and it's funny because i said to giselle my friend Giselle over at Mad Witch Channel um, that I'd never found a hagstone because we were talking about them because I'd bought some from Wizards and Witches and I said I've never found one and that was only about a week or so ago that I said that and then I find one but I'm seeing it as my dad gifted me that 
because it was his garden obviously before and funny how it was just sitting there like it was gifted so it's either so to me it's been gifted either by him or the fae or something so same with this goddess stone i'm calling it goddess stone and i've got a chalice well um for Vesica pisces there and a hair with the tour there's just like a placemat so and then up here two green men this one i've had the longest and then this one both of them came from glastonbury and then up here now is my dad's picture with my aunt's picture in a frame as well and that's his ashes in there um this here in that turquoisey colored box is some mini decks in the box above that is just some jewelry um so down here this is the three-headed dog from harry potter and when you press it well it did work it probably won't now because i want it to there we go it makes like a snoring noise <laughs> oh dear little things <laughs> this bag just has shoes in it my shoes and things this box i think you've seen before um just has that this deck's on the top because i'm using it all the time this is a new deck that i purchased from jen and l over in the states um the forest mb tarot and i haven't used it or done a walkthrough or anything with that one yet because it's only just arrived the other day then we've got the healing waters tarot which i have shown this one is the cosmic seed tarot of the cosmic seed this is tarot of oneness porcelain tarot which simon gave me Zeke arcana this is the plant spirit tarot which i also haven't done a walkthrough of i'm oh, sorry plant spirit oracle oop it's not going to go back in now is it never mind this is um the stretch tarot which was a trade again this is just a rhinoceros very old key ring um let's see if i can get that back in now this one is the Lemurian Star Child Pocket Edition. Although it's not really pocket, I wouldn't say. Oop. It's probably not going to go back in there now. Because I've got all these other things in there, that's why. Okay, let's just shove all that back. It's just a spare card and things. Um, that's the nature speak oracle which is out of print but i managed to get it on ebay quite cheap so i was pleased about that this is the um tree wisdom or uh, tarot is it tree or tree spirit tarot i forget it's make playing cards anyway and you can get the um the book on amazon this is the chubby bunny which simon also gave me i love this and i have been using this it just you just got to smile when you use this and i've got a rune deck as well he gave me a chubby bunny rune deck too um so this one is god look i'm even forgetting what i've got in here Um, oh it's a it's like a black and white nature deck which i got um sort of half price um on little red tarot and then i've got the yonasa yaus seventh edition and the um stunning tarot seventh edition so that's those there we'll just put that back like that for now i'll sort it out in a minute then in here 
I mean there are two boxes here but this one has just got this one has just got bits and pieces that I interchange on the altar with and a few books but this one has more decks <laughs> there's the chubby bunny room deck and the golden um, journey pocket tarot and the normal so there's a few decks in there there's some hay house purchases that, are, that only came a few days ago that I haven't even opened yet in this little Kelly Bear pouch is the mouse boat tarot which I love it's dead cute and there's another Kelly Bear pouch there underneath these in the black bag is the wisdom of the Kaliak Got the Luna Larpin tarot down there, the original one, not like a fake one, just some crystals there and some runes and things in there as well. So, yeah, I know you guys are probably like, bloody hell, she's got decks everywhere. But, um, yeah, oop, finger in the way. So that's that part, right? And this is the last bit, and I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, guys, because this is the uh, window sill um, in the bedroom, and it's quite hot today. It's um, so it's quite bright. Um, so I've got my Kanunos statue. He was the first one that I ever bought, but his horn is a bit wonky now. Look, even though it's been glued back a few times, and this one is um broken a little bit i've got a little dragon down here which that came out the other day and had to be glued in um oil burner it's got like a candle in it and that's from sons of asgard a rose quartz at the back there green man um Priselli blue stone green man which is cool Gaia, a green Gaia, and that's my incense holder. That's another candle holder, um, like green man or tree man type one. Some of them haven't got candles in at the moment because I tend to burn candles more sort of autumn, winter is when I burn the most candles. It just looks nice, doesn't it, when it's darker evenings that one is an incense burner for loose incense also from sons of asgard this is um tea light holder but i love her anyway and sometimes i'll put herbs and things um in there this was from avebury and is by i think it's a win abbot yes it is it's a win abbot um, goddess with a drum and there's some cones there and here is my um, Philippa Bowers goddess it's my Ariane rod representation and then this goddess in the back that I've had for years she's got like an offering bowl in front of her and I put crystals and cones and things in and then there's just a sage clearing spray there um, and that is basically it guys so I hope you enjoyed seeing this anyway this um, tarot tubers at home and I'm sure I will talk to you all soon bye for now